Okay guys, all right my friends, now we are here on the bias of the C170S motherboard. At the same time, I am going to be answering some questions that I get um, whenever I uh, up update a motherboard bias. The first thing that you want to do, whatever settings you have, click F5 or default. I'm going to click F5 for uh, optimize default. All right. I click OK. And it bring it back to default settings. So now I'm going to go ahead and click F7 to go to advanced mode. And from there, we want to go to tools. All right, Easy Asus Flash 3 Utility. So let's go ahead and click in there. Uh, we could use uh, via internet. You know what? Let's give it a try. Why not? Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Now the network release items and reboot system automatically. Continue. Yes, we're going to do it this way this time. Let's see what happens, guys. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and use the bias option. Uh, one question that I get all the time is, if I have Windows 7, can I uh, download the bias update for Windows 10? No, you can't. You just can't. If you got Windows 7, use the option for Windows 7. Uh, see right there, guys? It just boot right back to... Uh, please select the internet connection type. Okay. Uh, fix IP. I got this one here. I hope. Let's see what happens. It's severed to... Oh, yeah. It worked pretty good. <laughs> That was pretty cool. All right. So click the download. All right. Let's see what happens. I was going to do it. The I was going to up, update this motherboard using, uh, you know, the USB flash drive. But let's go ahead and do it this way, the internet way. All righty. Now it says that it's processing at the bottom. pretty good don't forget guys to use the same setting as i did if you are using wire connection update successfully system will be reset okay well let's see what happens it's rebooting it's rebooting oh bias is updating take a look at that one Bias is updating, do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot up failure. All right, now the PC shut down. Yes, you're hearing that little fan, the Intel fan. All right, well, we are here now. Let's go ahead and uh, enter to the bias, F1. All right, let's go enter to the bias. Excuse the camera angle, guys. All right, so we are on a version 1801. Take a look at that. Version 1801. 
But you know what guys, let's go ahead. I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it also with uh, the USB. <clears throat> oh wait, let me lock the camera here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do it uh, through the USB as well. Let me go ahead and click F7. All right, guys, before we go ahead and continue with the video, remember that you have to go to the ASUS website, look for Sabertooth C170S. I'm going to leave that in the description. What you want to do is go to support tab, go to drivers and stuff like right here you're seeing on the screen. Select Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7, whatever operating system you are running. Download the latest file, download it to your uh, download folders and, and, and uh, you want to extract it and drop it into your flash stick, your flash drive. And also make sure that your flash drive is formatted to NTFS <clears throat> in order for the BIOS to pick it up fast and easy. So with that said guys, let's get to the video. I have already done it. If you have questions how to do it, I'm gonna leave another video down below where I show you guys how to update the C170 Pro Gaming uh, motherboard. So. It's very simple, very easy. Just format the drive, uh, the the flash drive, and you are good to go. Now let's continue with the BIOS update video. Let's go ahead and go to Tools again. Come over here to ASUS EC Flash 3 Utility. We're gonna go ahead and use uh, storage device. All right, not the internet, but if you want to go through the internet, remember how I did it. You just have to click each one of them. See, here it is. Saber 2 c 170s 1801 cap. That CAP file. <coughs> okay. But if you don't find it, like if it's not FSO or FS0, uh, you click until you find it. See, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. But, ta-da, it's this one. So you click that one. It's gonna ask you do you do you want to read the the file? You just click yes. I I am not going to click it because you guys seen that I already updated this bias. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share the video. If this video helped you, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. It helps me a lot and it makes me happy. Thank you guys. You guys are beautiful. You guys are awesome. Um, I have a video coming up on overclocking the i7 6700K manual voltage as well. Stay tuned.